What's up everybody? Anthony here, SpecialtyMotorCars.net and behind me you can see the beautiful 2009 Cadillac DTS. Uh, if you caught the video when I was on vacation with my family, I bought this as a souvenir when I was down in Florida. This is a one owner, lifelong Sarasota, Florida condo car. Uh, 2009 DTS with 38,000 miles. When I go on vacation, I still have to buy cars. And this, like I said, was my souvenir that I took back with us. Uh, and it's through the shop, fully serviced. You see, I can put, uh, I put new chrome wheels on it. Some old, few other little bits and trim pieces that I put on it to really brighten the car up. It's a beautiful sunny day here in Southern New Hampshire. I'm excited to show you this car. If you haven't seen my other video, that means you haven't been subscribed. Hit that subscribe button, bottom right hand corner. I don't know if I'm pointing the right way. Either way, subscribe, like, share, do whatever you want to do. Appreciate everybody for watching. Let's take a look at this car. I'm super, super excited to bring you this car as a final finished product. And I know anybody who did see the video of when I bought this car, I even said when I had bought the car that I was gonna change the wheels. Uh, so the wheels on the car are factory GM DTS wheels. I sourced them out of Texas. So they're super, super clean, no curb rash. It came off a low mileage car, no pitting or anything like that. They obviously fit the condition of a Florida car very, very nicely. Uh, the car is kind of like a I think they call it Cadillac called a gold mist it's kind of like a champagne color it's got a beautiful full uh, vinyl top and a chocolate brown you know how I feel about that if you remember back to the long wheelbase town car video uh, but I did do some other little bits of trim and stuff I put the six-piece chrome pillar trim on it I know some people like or hate that stuff but I think it really woke the car up nicely along with the chrome wheels and then they also put the chrome lower rocker panels on. You can see uh, when they put the top on, they gold plated all the emblems and it really comes together nicely. You can see the shine off those wheels. Uh, even the top, the top is in such nice shape. It was just treated and uh, you know, it just, it dazzles in the sun, really. This, it's a very beautiful car. Uh, 2009, 38,000 miles. I probably put about 200 miles on the car when I was down in Florida. Uh, I drove it back from Sarasota all the way to, uh, we were just south of Daytona Beach, Ponce Inlet. Uh, what a beautiful place. Um, you know, when I was down there, I absolutely loved every minute of it. I know Bill from Curious Cars totally complains about, you know, the sun and the humidity and whatever, but uh, no complaints from me. I, I loved it. I mean, I'm sure if you lived there all the time, you probably would hate it, uh, but I'm not as miserable as he might be when it comes to the Florida weather. Uh, so let me go around this car. I want to point out a few things, show you a couple little nicks and chips or whatever. I can see here, still has the barcode sticker. Uh, I never really knew what those were. It's a reflective barcode. It's, the one's a little faded, but um, I never knew what they were for. I, just, I thought they were for like car washes or whatever, but I always wondered why they put them on the passenger side rear window. And then somebody told me in the comments once that's for gated communities where you drive in as you're coming down the road it would pick up on the barcode and open the gate which i thought was kind of cool uh so totally service this car went through the shop i actually subletted this car out for service that's why you see it done so quickly uh, i had the new wheels mounted uh, on the original tires it had a like new set of uniroyal tiger plot tires they're date coded 2019 uh also did four wheel brakes pads and rotors front and rear, two front outer tie rods, uh, alignment, a couple tire pressure monitor sensors, oil change, cabin filter, engine oil filter, uh, engine air filter, obviously an oil filter. Uh, new third brake light here. These are common to crack. A lot of people, when they go and close the trunk, they put their hand here and just slam the trunk down, cracks those. Uh, what else did I do to this car? I had to replace this door molding here. Um, I didn't really point it out in the video, but if, if some people caught it, uh, because you can see the little lip here, I think when somebody opened it and they might've caught like a wall or something, it took a little bit of a chunk of the end off. So I had that, uh, that's a brand new GM molding painted to match and it came out beautiful. 
Um, I think the only other thing that I had to do to this car was I replaced this with a brand new fog light. Um, it had a, must, must have been a bad seal or something. There was a little condensation and water building up in it. So new, seal, uh, new lens, complete lens housing, everything. New bulbs, new sockets, new harness. Uh, so everything is new there as well. So the car is ready to go. Uh, I'm super excited to show it to you. We'll go around, like I said, point out some of the little chips and flaws. Uh, you can see the beautiful gold mist paint on this car. It's got like a, looks to be a brown painted pinstripe. Very consistent down the whole side of the car, all the way on both sides. It's nice because it matches the top. I think you can see here, the body on the car is in really, really nice shape. Those beautiful chrome wheels. And you can see how chunky those tires are, but you look right through there, new pads, rotors. Um, very, very clean. All the body on this side, nice. There's no dings or chips. That's the chrome that I added. Kind of gives it a nice little effect. Ties everything together. You know how I feel about all the gingerbread on the cars. Uh, so th this car, I think, really sets off nicely. A uh, very minor little, itty bitty little thing right there. Uh, like I said, that's a new molding. Paint matches beautifully. Uh, nice job, Ryan, over at Carriage Auto Body for that one. Over the fender here. Very, very sharp. Again, new pads, rotors, caliper, uh, not calipers, new pads and rotors, wheels, chrome wheels. I mean, you can see in all the pockets how shiny and clean. No corrosion, no pitting or anything like that. No curb rash. And I like because they have these colored chip centers. Uh, really sharp instead of like just the raised logo on the chrome wheel. I think that's a little sharper. Come around the front bumper here. Headlights are in really nice shape. There's no real fading or anything like that. Tells me that the car was definitely garaged because down in Florida, especially the top surfaces, definitely cloud up really easy on these cars. A couple little chips, one, two, right there. I think there was one over here that was touched up. Chrome band across the grill. Classic Cadillac egg crate grill. Um, front bumper on this side had a couple little chips that were touched up it looks like uh, a long time ago it has the parktronic sensors in the front or the parking aid uh, I don't know if they're, they're like infrared or how they operate but it has front and rear uh, you know parking aids uh, which is kind of cool because most cars just have them in the back I thought it was cool when they had them on these cars front and back come around this side here you can see another again, crystal clear headlight hid headlights those are fog lights and corner light combinations come around the corner of the bumper bumper is nice and clean fender is very very nice again beautiful brown stripe down the side up here on the top a little chip there a little chip there uh, both have been touched up uh, but you can see how chunky those tires are uh, and then the day code is the 51st week of 2019, so they're only a few years old. Uh, they ride really nice. Like I said, drove it back from Sarasota. Uh, brand new pads, rotors. Again, you can see how clear and clean those wheels are. Uh, come up over the windshield here. Original GM laminate windshield. I mean, even like the wiper arms and stuff, you can see the nice gloss paint still on those, so it hasn't been out in the sun baking. You know, obviously the car was exposed to sun when they were driving it, but definitely sheltered uh, during the time it was parked. Top is in really nice shape. It's a chocolate brown vinyl. Has the fish whale tail or whatever they call that antenna uh, right in the, in the center there. Mirrors nice and clean. The edges are nice and clean. Very, I can't even, oh, no, you can see it there. A little bit minor scuff right on the edge there. Kind of cool it has the turn signals integrated into it yeah look at the side of the car here no dings or anything like that couple minor chips right there a little scuff there a couple minor ones there but nice and straight no dings this is probably the worst one right there uh it was touched up again at one point um nice chrome on the bottom all the glass on the side and i did put these chrome pillar trim pieces on these are real stainless uh one of the reasons i put them on the car is obviously i think they look good but the company who actually manufactures this stuff 
quality automotive accessories is just 20 minutes from my shop. So I can call them up and say, hey, I need a set for this. I need that. They can custom make me things. Uh, you know, they make it and stamp it out all right there. And it's all real nice, heavy gauge stainless. All inside the wheel wells, nice and clean again. Super chunky, Uniroyal uh, Tiger Paws. Super clean wheels. You see all the pockets. Nice and clean again. Those colored chip centers. Uh, I believe I did have to do two tire pressure monitors. When we get into the car and drive it, I believe I still have, yeah, right on the front seat is my repair order for this car. A little over $1,200 if I remember correctly. Come down the quarter here. Nice and straight, nice and clean. All the chrome trimming. I love how they did the rear ends of these cars uh, with the sharp uh, taillights, the chrome band that goes around the back, and how if you kind of look at it, it kind of you know flows right into those uh, LED reverse lights. Thought that was kind of cool. Again, the rear parking aids. A little bit, I don't know if you can kind of see it. If I move the camera around, there's a little bit of like a weird effect to like the bumper here. Or maybe it, it brushed up against something. It's really not scratched up or chipped up. It's just kind of like wavy. So I'm gonna think something might have hit it and you know kind of distorted it a little bit. But very minor there. Uh, it has a uh, North Star special exhaust. It's, I think every North Star that they put out, the sedans, the Eldorado, Seville's, had this quad tipped exhaust. Like I said, brand new third brake light. Apparently I got a little pine needle somewhere. The gold ornamentation is in nice shape. There's a little bit of fading here. You know, some fading on the DTS emblem. Got the gold plated North Star emblem and the Coast Cadillac. Uh, out of Sarasota emblem there. Deck lid is nice and clean. Uh, a few minor chips and light abrasions right here on the corner. Looks like I might have chipped up on something. A little gas cap that opens up nice and clean inside here. I love how all these, the cars when they have these tops, they have to have the little top bar on the gas cap. Again, that beautiful vinyl top, nice and clean. Car really shines nicely. It's a pleasure to drive. I'm very excited to have it here. I haven't had a DTS in a while. I, I haven't, and um, I got a lot of people ask about this car when I did buy it in Florida. Those who follow me kind of called me up and said, hey, you know, geez, you haven't had a DTS in a while. You're gonna stop selling them. And uh, glad to have this one. My father has one, his is coming out of storage. And uh, it reminds me that I don't only have to sell Lincolns and Bromes. So we'll see if we can get some more of them in. But let's take a look at the inside. It's a beautiful light linen interior. Then we'll take it on the road for a spin. All right, let's take a look inside this 09 Cadillac DTS. Now, the thing I like about these Cadillacs is they come in two configurations. And I pointed this out in my video when I picked the car up. Either a five or a six passenger. And I know people love or hate both or other, the other one, whatever. This is a six passenger in true six passenger fashion. You have the option, also a center console to store stuff. So it's kind of nice. It's versatile. My dad has a six passenger. He likes it. It gives you a little bit more leg room for your knees. But I also understand the people who like the five passenger with the console shift. But you can see here, beautiful light linen interior. It's like a very light, creamy, off-white color. Uh, really, really clean door jams, as you would expect. All the weather stripping and gaskets are in really nice shape, not worn out. Uh, what I do like that they did in these later year DTS is they made a contrasting color switches. I believe six and seven, maybe eight. Uh, these switches usually were the same color as the interior. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's correct, that model year range. But with the contrasting color, I kind of like it. It matches the kind of darker colored uh, interior on the top. But really nice. All the stitching is nice here. And then you got the full six passenger view. Uh, leather seats are in nice shape, nice and soft. A little bit of minor wear on the, uh, the seat edges here. You got the Cadillac crest uh, kind of stamped into the seat back there. It's a very, very light color interior. Carpeting shows pretty well. Looks like one of the uh, anchors is 
kind of falling in a little bit there. Coping it around the back here. Again, beautiful leather interior. Door jams show super clean. Six uh, in the, or three in the back, three in the front. Got the center armrest that opens up has a little cup holder that flips out. Rear package shelf. Leather is in nice shape back here as well. Carpeting shows really well. Also, it does have little pop-up lids here, a little uh, charging port and an ashtray. Heated rear seats on these cars. Passenger side. In that light linen interior, side airbags, LED lighting in the roof. Leather shows really nice. They have a little stain right there, like a little scuff mark. I could not get that out. I don't know what would have caused that to not come out, but. Again, inside those door jams, nice and clean. Weather stripping, all in nice shape. Door panel on this side again, all the stitching you can see is nice and clean on it as well. No wear on the buttons. It has the uh, air conditioned seats, heated seats, or heated back and bottom, uh, power windows, locks. All the wood in this car another common thing that this wood would start to crack uh, this wood is in a really nice shape no cracking or anything like that these little vents that kind of open and close door sills remind you you're driving a Cadillac very minor few spots of corrosion there on the aluminum sill plate but just look at how nice and fresh that interior is nice and soft supple no abnormal wear all right, we're behind the steering wheel in the cockpit area of this 2009 Cadillac DTS. Before we get into the features, I want to show you what I have here. Two sets of keys, the original fobs uh, with, <laughs> whoops, we're going to change that. Memory recall on the driver's side. Uh, it has number one and number two uh, memory recall. And you can see that just by the remotes here. One has a one and one has a two. Uh, which is nice. Uh, believe me, I use it for my wife's Cadillac. Uh, when I hit the unlock button on my key, it recalls my setting. And when I hit, she hits the unlock on her key, it recalls her setting. Uh, which is nice, believe me, especially if your wife sits on top of the steering wheel. Start it up here. I like how the gauges sweep. Uh, 38,835 miles. I think I probably put... Let me see if I can find the trip. 200, that's what I did. 226 miles on this car driving in Florida. Probably a few miles up here as well, but majority of the miles I put on this car was in Florida when I drove it back from Sarasota to uh, uh, Ponce Inlet was where we were staying. But it's kind of nice. It's got all the features here. You can kind of scroll through, get all the car features, oil, metric. You can change some of the settings. Uh, stuff like that. You can go through all that stuff. Steering wheel is laid out like a lot of these, this era GM steering wheel with the buttons on the side, similar to like the Chevy Impalas and stuff. You have all your cruise control features here. It does have a heated steering wheel. Uh, then these are all your radio functions. Uh, I believe a mute for the sound system or maybe some telephone. Or maybe this thing has Bluetooth. I really don't know. Uh, Radio works. Ice cold air conditioning. I got the air on now, though I don't really need it, but it did work beautifully in Florida as well. Ashtray. Funny thing is, it doesn't come with a cigarette lighter. It's just a little, you know, auxiliary outlet there. Got the OnStar mirror. Uh, and again, like I said, LED interior lighting. What I do like is the column shift as well. Uh, but getting back to this stuff here, like I usually show you, I got an OnStar packet uh, for the OnStar mirror. 
Uh, I do have the original owner's manual uh, showing this car came from Coast Cadillac. Uh, Sunset Automotive Preferred Owners Club. Don't know what that means. A couple of roadside cards. All the books and everything are in there as well. And I had this car serviced at an outside repair shop. You can see it right at the top, Patriot Automotive. Uh, i give you a rundown of the stuff that they did to this car uh, just about 10 miles ago. Replace rims, clean and reseal. Replace one tire pressure monitor uh, and three tire pressure valve stems. Reprogram tire pressure to learn positions. Performed alignment, adjust the specs. Uh, adjust and level steering wheel. Remove and replace outer tie rods. Uh, remove and replace front pads and rotors. Clean and lubricate caliper brackets. Remove and replace rear pads and rotors. Oil change, check fluids, top off all necessary fluids, and check tire pressure. So um, I am now starting to sublet my cars out for repairs, uh, which is nice because you can see here it's uh, all in print uh, of what I do to the cars. So we did full wheel brakes, did the tire swap, the wheel swap, uh, two outer tie rods, um, and then apparently a cabin air filter and an engine air filter as well. Uh, and then I also, I think, have here the alignment specs. So she's all aligned nice and straight. Uh, I will include a copy of those uh, with the car. I'm going to pop the trunk here. Pull the hood release. Let's take a look. See what's in the trunk of these Cadillacs. A very, very spacious trunk indeed. Uh, it's actually quite spacious. It goes quite a ways back, and that's a little pass-through if you have some long skis, two-by-fours. I don't know. What do you put big in your Cadillac? I guess maybe skis. Um, and if you do remember the video, it had a really nasty, ugly set of floor mats. I bought a brand new set, still in the bag. Uh, it has a spare tire, little cargo net. And one of the things that a lot of people don't know about these DTSs is it has this little pocket here so you can close the trunk. And like I referenced to the taillight, a lot of people grab it here and then slam it down, ultimately usually stressing and cracking the taillight, when all you gotta do is reach into this pocket and gently close the trunk and it closes. It doesn't have a power pull down, but it does close relatively easily. Pop open the hood. Got a beautifully clean North Star V8. When I say clean, I mean not an oil burner, <clears throat> um, no oil leakage, very, very dry underneath this car, very clean under here. Minor surface rust on some of these components here. You can see that, some of the components, even like, it's kind of weird, you can see a little bit of surface rust, actually a lot of surface rust, on that um, brake booster. This car was a Sarasota car its whole life. Uh, but it was a coastal Sarasota car, so it probably did see a little bit of salt air here and there, but it's actually relatively clean underneath, uh, like you would expect a Florida car to be. All right, let me put my seatbelt on and we'll take it for a drive. I haven't driven one of these DTSs probably since I put my dad's DTS away, uh, and he's got a 2011 Cadillac DTS. Uh, that's now nearing almost 10,000 miles. Uh, and I really, I love that car. Um, I kind of actually force him to store it in my shop, even though I really don't have the space for it. I force him to store that car in my shop in the winter because honestly, these, these cars are getting harder to find, you know. These are still relatively newer cars, um, you know, but people don't keep cars today like they used to. Uh, and you know, that, that DTS that my dad has, if some of you longtime subscribers remember seeing the video of when I, I got it for my dad, uh, for his birthday for, or no, for Christmas. No, it was his birthday. His birthday's right around Christmas. It had 2,200 miles. The car was out of the wrapper new. And you know, I really knew that I wasn't ha going to have another opportunity to find another car like that. So selfishly, I'm, I'm making him store it away for... The longevity of that car's life but then also selfishly because you know because it's gonna last so long chances are that might be the last dts that my dad gets and i wanted him to keep it nice uh so i can cherish it uh for the rest of the car's life anyways 
back to this one this is a really nice car like i said all sorted out mechanically checked out uh, all new brakes pads and rotors outer tie rods alignment oil change tpms sensors air filters stuff like that uh, she is ready to go and let's take the oh yeah looking good looking good i like taking a little glimpse in the mirrored glass uh, this is a really nice car this is kind of like the last we'll say traditional cadillac i know a lot of people are going to light me up in the comments that's not a traditional cadillac i know it is in its front wheel drive you know it, it's not a rear wheel drive v8 but honestly in in the last real cadillac we'll go with was a 96 fleetwood well, you know but for those traditional cadillac buyers that liked cadillacs with buttons and knobs and you know that traditional layout this kind of was the last car because then they switched to the xds which a lot of people don't like uh, they had the q screen and those all go crazy and everything's push button push button start you know you still get keys to start this car um and that's why i, I say this is the last traditional cadillac and i think that's why these cars will be sought after for a long time because you know like this particular one you have a traditional dashboard layout you have all the space here uh you know for your knees if, if you're a bigger guy like myself uh you know this is comfortable this is you know this is what a traditional car was like back in the day you just don't get that anymore especially bench seats say what you want in the comments but uh, i that's these are what i can consider traditional cadillacs as being the last again I won't argue the last one was the 96 Fleetwood, but one thing I do like about these DTSs is they still retain the cornering lights. And even if you don't turn the cornering lights on at night when your headlights are on, and you just simply turn the wheel a little left or to the right, uh, the corner light automatically comes on. While well, I'm stopped at this light, I wanted to show you flip out cup holders, similar to the town cars. Uh, nice little convenient spot to store the center seat belt and a full center console with a coin holder here as well. Um, you know, we'll pop that up and you have a seat for a little one or something. I don't know. It's probably not the most comfortable seat in the world, but all right, we're going to go. It's green anyways. The thing I like about these is they got that V8 power, that V8 kick to get you up and going. Naturally aspirated, you know, it's Cadillacs today. They're all turbo this and twin turbo that. It's a naturally aspirated uh, 32 valve North Star. So I totally appreciate all the folks that are new subscribers to my channel. Uh, any of my longtime subscribers, like I always say, totally appreciate it. Because if it wasn't for you, I would not be here doing what I do. Uh, so I definitely thank you all for watching. Let me know if you have any questions about this Cadillac DTS. 2009, 38,000 mile car. One owner, fresh out of Sarasota, Florida. Uh, all service, ready to go. Price of this one, I'm going to be asking $15,995. Uh, and like I say in all my videos, if you need help transporting it, uh, I can help you with that. Uh, from door to door, pick right up at my shop and drop right off at your front door. I can arrange all that for you. So really, not to sound cliche, but one call can do it all. Um, I should trademark that, but uh, this car is going to serve someone a lot of life. There's a lot of life left in this 38,000 mile Cadillac. And if you're looking for that big traditional Cadillac and you want something with a little bit of pizzazz to it with the brown top, the gold trim, you know, it's not your cookie cutter Cadillac DTS. This is definitely the car. Give me a call, 978-930-1004.